everyone and welcome to Letty Does Harley Quinn. So in the last episode, Harley is looking for a new base for her and her team after they ended up getting Ivy evicted. And they seek out a couple different layers, but Harley doesn't really like any of them and she can't really make a decision. So uh, she is frustrating the, um, what's it called, the lair, what do they call it, agent? Um, realtor. And they just keep asking her, what does she want, what does she like, um, what speaks to her, and she doesn't know the answer to any of those because she said that Joker had always been the one that makes the big decisions. And, um... She doesn't really know how to make decisions for herself. So this kind of breaks her and she goes into like a mental coma. Um, and yeah, Dr. Psycho has to teleport everyone into her psyche in order to get her out. But while they are teleported in there, uh, someone accidentally touches one of her memories, which puts her entire brain into lockdown mode, and they end up getting stuck in there longer than they had intended to be. Um, this causes... Man, what was his name? Marv or something? Uh, Ivy's landlord to find them and think that they are all dead and were part of a, uh, like, suicide cult thing. So, um, yeah, the guy, he, I guess, before was a secret agent, and he calls his friend to help him dispose of the bodies, and they start moving who, what they think are the corpses um, down to the furnace to be incinerated, all the while... Uh, Dr. Psycho is able to, uh, see what's happening in the real world via Harley's eyes, um, and see that they have to get out of there fast before they end up getting incinerated. Um, let's see. So they start going through Harley's memories and get to her repressed memories, which one of them is when she got thrown into the vat and um it kind of skips out because she doesn't really remember the one bit where she actually uh falls in or decides to go in so she plays it back and finds out that joker actually didn't shove her in like she had initially you know led herself to believe she willingly jumped in to the vat so um, she gets frustrated at this and has a talk with Ivy and then says that she's not going to let that define her. So, um, she, like, rewrites her origin in her head, um, as it started, you know, the day that she decided to break away from Joker. So, having come to peace with that, she is able to get everyone out of her mind and then they're able to save themselves from being incinerated just in the nick of time. Um, what's that guy's name? Ivy's landlord says that that had been the most fun that he'd had in a while and that he wants to do it again and to let him be a part of Harley's team to which she accepts. So now she has a small, you know, group, a gang to, um, pull off heists and stuff with. And I'm excited to see more of how her and her team, uh, interact with just Gotham City in general. Uh, because Ivy still, or not Ivy, Harley still wants to become a member of the Legion of Doom. We already saw Lex Luthor. And we haven't really seen much of his personality, but I do think he's going to end up being as, like, you know, cutthroat, ruthless as he is uh, regularly. So I am excited to see that. 
And let's see, other than that, that's basically all I'm looking for. Harley Quinn, Season 1, Episode 6. You're a damn good cop, Jim Gordon. Let's get started. <laughs> OMG, so accurate. <laughs> I like the whole phone in his leg thing still. Aww. Wow, okay, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, wow! Can't he just get in there? Okay, so Psycho did get the motorcycle? Did not get the motorcycle? <laughs> Ivy's honestly the best. <laughs> the arm? The hand? Oh my gosh, that's so creepy! <laughs> oh my god, did this turn into Batman? <laughs> oh, never mind. All Star Batman is what I was thinking, but oh god. I like how her accent came out a little bit there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Amazing. So is he just not going to give Clayface back his arm? Oh, she's so pretty! <laughs> Call me! <laughs> Amazing. She's going to push the button, of course. Oh, it teleports her to the bat cave? <laughs> she actually talked him into it. <laughs> She's gonna go find Brad, she said. <laughs> It has butt cheeks. That's weird. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, it just ended. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um. <laughs> This is such a funny episode. It's all about relationships! Um, I did like that... Well, they're gearing that Harley understands the priority of her teammates, but I feel like if she ever gets into the Legion of Doom, if she gets the news that she's been accepted, she's probably gonna take it too far and forget, like, everything that it happened this episode and her saying that, you know, being a part of the Legion of Doom doesn't really matter to her as much as her friendships. Um, but, <laughs> you know, for this episode, it seems good. Um, I also like that as the episodes go by, we do see like character development um, instead of just like her doing completely random shit. I mean, the episodes themselves are very random, but um, her character is developing. We do see that. It's not staying stagnant. It's, uh, she's learning. <laughs> she's becoming a different Harley Quinn. So I'm very excited for that. I do like that. Um, I also do like to see 
everyone just kind of use their powers. I did like to see that uh, King Shark, when put under, you know, more drastic circumstances, he just adapts and <laughs> he changes the way that he behaves <laughs> to make himself more like uh, his comic book self. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he just chopped that guy's right head right off. And then the way he acted in prison. That was pretty great. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this show thus far. Um, and yeah, not too much to say about it. They're pretty short. This one was cool. I like Jim Gordon. <laughs> um, he's just so crazy. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all the stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, Letty here. Just trying on another outfit for my winter of workout wear try on haul, February 2020. And if you want to see me work out while wearing this bowl riding outfit, then you can go ahead and vote for it by checking out that video down there. Bye.